at just over 31 feet long, just a smidge over 6,700 pounds dry weight, you are looking at one of the most popular floor plans in the country for travel trailers that want to sleep about seven people. Come check out the Gray Wolf 26 DBH. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris Young. I'm standing inside the all new 2021 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 DBH, one of the most popular floor plans for families because of the features, the amenities, but more than that, the layout. It gives you room to sleep seven or more people easily and comfortably. Plus you got a U-shaped dinette, you got tons of features, you got an outside kitchen. There's no reason these, there's, I mean, there's really not a reason why, you know, it's kind of hard not to find these because they fly off the shelves. They're so popular. We're going to start right back here in the back, double over double box. And the one thing with Forest River that you're going to see, um, you have USB charging ports pretty much everywhere you sit and or sleep. So they know that people need to charge their phones. They're also going to give you, you know, the 110 outlets as well. But Comfortable and large double over double bunks here on the rear off camp side. You got the teddy bear style bunk mattress here. One down below as well. Plus we got the hideaway ladder. So if you got the kids, the adults, the dogs, whatever, you got room and privacy with the curtains, the decorative. And you're going to notice with the limited package like we have here, the everything has the light on dark. I love the matte black finish that they put on the hardware inside this camper. It's just really appealing in the aesthetic is outstanding. So, I mean, speaking of, got the graphite black fixtures here on the doorknobs. Got an access point inside the bathroom and wait until you see what they've done for 2021 with the doors on the outside. They just look great. Corner mounted vanity right here with the large sink. Once again, that graphite black or matte black fixtures all the way around. Corner mounted medicine cabinet there with the raised lips i am a fan of these because when you're in transit this helps keep stuff from falling out of your camper and if you've never used an rv um and when you get to set up you open that up and everything falls on you that's just not a good time got pipe access and storage underneath there as well inline plastic bowl here with the foot flush plus i got my single surround shower tub combo and as you can see i'm i'm not cramped I got plenty of space, plenty of leg room. I come in here and the skylight in the shower does allow me to give me some headroom. If you know by now, you know, I got, I, I knock my head pretty much every camper I walk into, but I mean, look at it. It's freaking ginormous. Single surround, got the corner notches here to put my soaps, got the mini tub there. And with this skylight, yeah, hit the light, Bobby. I mean, during the day, you don't even really need the lights on in here because you have all the light coming through this giant skylight. And they have these uh, high output fans right here with the vents that are that run on the 12 volt. So even on a hot day, that fan moves so much air, you can really cool this camper down pretty quick just by running that 12 blade fan right there. Access point, good spot for if you got family members, kids, dogs, whatever, they want to come and go as they please, but more importantly, if everybody's dirty, they can go in there, get washed off in the shower, or if you got the dog, spray them off in the little tub, and boom, you're good to go. Another great feature about the 26 DBHs is the large pantry. Yes, travel trailers with large pantries. I mean, Forest River, not only are they great with their construction because of how they do things, they really are environmentally conscious. So they like to reduce and reuse, which allows them to pass on a lot of savings. But more importantly than that, it reduces our carbon footprint because they know if you're going to go out and enjoy the great outdoors, you want to make sure that it's there. 12 volt fridge right here that is 10 cubic foot. And these 12 volt fridges do a really good job of cooling down. As a matter of fact, a lot of them are quicker than the gas electric ones, but plenty of space, plenty of room. You're going to see that with the 26 DBH, if you're a family or if you're looking to just get out and about, do a lot of stuff, you know, you're going to be traveling. You know, some people are going to be meeting up. Maybe you need a good hunting cabin, a fishing cabin, something for the ladies get away, or you got lake land, mountain land that you need to just set something up where people can come enjoy and have a vacation spot. That's a great one. High output AC right here with the quick cool. Coming up here to the off camp side, you're going to see the U-shaped dinette. These have become a lot more popular uh, over the uh, recent years, mainly because of the space that you have here. Sure, this reduces down. You can easily get two people inside here as a sleeper, but just take a look at the reconnection space that you have here. You get finished cooking a great camp meal. You come over here. You got large windows 
with the wood balances, the decorative curtains here, and these are the zebra shades. So they not only look good, but their function is actually really unique as well, because you can go from dark to light to you know pretty much as bright or as dark as you want it. Um, I like that innovation, but comfortable, spacious, and a good spot for everybody to reconnect. Got plenty of storage under here too, with the slide outs, solid wood construction, you're going to see that all the way around this travel trailer. Forest River doesn't skimp. Um, speaking of, they also do 12 inch on center construction with their studs. What that means is inside the framing, the studs are 12 inches apart where applicable. Most trailers are roughly 18 inches. So kudos to Forest River for kind of, you know, stepping up in that regards. Black fixtures, black hardware, but beautiful. Look at the light on the dark. You even got the solid panel backsplash here that's decorative. Grill style great on my three burner cooktop that also has the glass cover and the LED accent light. Works as a great night light. Plus you got my oven right there if I wanna cook some gobbles, some turkey. And this is a pressed surface countertop. So it's really unique, easy to clean, seamless, but looks good as well. And you got the farmhouse style undermounted sink with the apron. Once again, that graphite or matte black fixtures. I got my sprayer nozzle here. Uh, if you're wondering what that is, uh, this means this unit's been winterized. So whenever you see that pink fluid in the sinks or coming out of the spouts or you know in toilets or in the showers or whatnot, that means it's been winterized. And if you want to know what that is and why you should do it and how you should do it, Look up on the Camping World or Gander YouTube pages how to winterize and when you should winterize. It's extremely important. Now, continuing on, wood inlay with my push button lights. Got my frosted glass inlays here on my shaker style cabinets. It's giving me some little storage room. But you have that big pantry over there that really gives you uh, a lot of space for food. I mean, dude, it's your camper. If you want to put fishing gear in there, clothes, go for it. It's your camper. There's no right or wrong. And here, too, you'll notice. This is set up for, can you see that, Bobby? The little Wi-Fi right there. A lot of campers are coming with the built-in Wi-Fi extenders or the built-in hotspots. Um, it's a nice to have if you do need to stay connected or you say, you know what, this will make a great mobile office for me. Bada bing, bada boom. Got me a little trash can storage down there. Full extension on the ball bearing drives here with the solid wood construction on my drawers. Plus you got those brushed nickel fixtures right here on the outside just making it appealing and nice because forest river knows uh if you don't enjoy being in it you're not going to want to be in it which means you're not going to use it and that's what camping is about is getting out and enjoying the time and the space and if you're a family looking for space to entertain but also relax look at the room that i have here the super slide on the off camp side that houses my jackknife sofa and my u-shaped dinette really opens up the space for not only entertaining, but you have plenty of room with separation for when it comes time for people to sleep. Got my jackknife sofa here that's a leatherette. It's comfortable, large window. Got my USB charging port right there in between the two. I mean, these are, you can't even really call them entry level because Gray Wolf has so many amenities and features packed into it. Even though you're at that entry level price, there's no wonder these just fly off the shelf. Plus I throw in an entertainment center with a 5200 BTU fireplace, which does a good job of knocking the chill off the air. Come on, man. Multi-flame settings, looks good, lights up the area. If you wanna use this as a couple's coach, the romantic getaway, sip your wine or sherry or brandy while you sit there at the fireplace, can't beat it. Component shelf, got me some more storage right here. And you have the driven entertainment system in this. Now, this is a Bluetooth uh, NFC entertainment system that also has dual zones with the speakers because you have those backlit speakers on the outside. But what that means is you have an app that will allow you to control the entertainment. You got the awesome speakers in here. Um, it's also, since it's app driven, it gives you the ability to kind of control what's, what's being played where. Just people are modern nowadays, and they want to give you the best when it comes to keeping that modern edge. And this is one of those things that do it. And having the near field, which is super easy to set up. Got my TV backer there, which if you noticed in this drawer, these are the mounts that go on the back of the TV. Why do they have that separate? Well, you got this here, but I'm going to hold on to this because I'm going to show you outside in a minute. Here's my cable connections. Bada bing, bada boom. Over here beside the main entry point, we got my command panel. 
got some power ports right there. And you got a walk around or well, double access into the bedroom. I mean, you could walk around, but you gotta be tiny uh, here into the master. Camp size queen bed, got my push button LED lights, double ward storage on both sides. Plus you got the side opening storage doors up here. I like it when it's side opening because sometimes when you're loading stuff in, having to use your arm to hold the door while putting stuff away, it's just not as enjoyable as it could be. And of course, you got the storage underneath that is accessible from the outside. Got my nightstand space on both sides. Plus I got my remote charging panel there. If you have, you know, if you wanted to just do the wireless charging, just clip that in, boom, and dual USBs over here. So plenty of power options. If you got a CPAP machine, reading light, however you want to do it, not to mention large windows on both sides. So if I want to create a cross breeze, I absolutely could. It's all about comfort, convenience, style, and the amenities when it comes to the all new Gray Wolf uh, 26 DBH. Great family camper, but with the double over double bunks, good for adults too. We've checked out the inside. Let's go check out the outside. So here we are on the outside of the 2021 Gray Wolf 26 DBH. Forest River does such a good job with these. It's one of the most popular floor plans inside and out. You'll see why. Got that super flex seamless roof going all the way over the top. Got the diamond plated rock guard here. Beautiful graphics. I love the gray on blue. A few years ago, they did brown on brown. Let me just be honest with you. I don't know who decided that was a good idea, but it, in my opinion, it wasn't. Um, 20 pound LP tanks up here, powered tongue jack plus the LED light. These to me are a must have anyway. Whenever you're talking about setting up and hitching up, having the power tongue jack is just so nice. Got that full frame that's made in one piece all the way under this bad boy. And you're gonna notice you got the sealed underbelly under here as well. Got my leveling jacks. Forest River even went, yeah, this is our, our storage right here. It's not passed through, but it is accessible through the uh, master bedroom. And you'll notice right here, that's your little power panel for the solar charger that's built in. Love having that option too, because if you really want to go off grid, you got to have some power options and not draining the battery is a good way to do it. Anti-slam here on the pass-through storage doors, but Forest River even took an extra step with their aluminum siding. They, ha they have a coating on it that is scratch resistant, fade resistant, just really one of those extra things that when you're talking about giving you a good and well-built coach, that's the thing that adds into it. Seamless tinted windows all the way around, or excuse me, uh, sealed safety tinted windows all the way around. Got my large 12 foot awning with the LED light strip right here. The Moride solid steps, which I mean, having solid steps going in and out is just a great to have, not to mention, uh, the way more I built these, you got the larger top step than you do the bottom step. That's a safety precaution, plus it's pet friendly. I'll show you a little bit more about the pet friendly stuff here in a minute. And the Paragon tempered tinted glass doors. This is a new addition for 2021 that I really like. Not only do you have the tinted glass for privacy, it also looks slick and clean set up and going down the road. Just a very nice touch. You got yourself a glass door. I mean, dude, come on. The compact camp kitchen, another great thing that Forest River does with their Gray Wolf line is they give you these compact outside kitchens and takes up less space, giving you more space on the inside, more storage space on the inside as well. But check it out. I got my multi burners. I got my little cleaning pit here. Got my little mini dorm style fridge. And look, you can't have your outdoor bourbon without outdoor ice. I mean, really, how about an ice maker for you there as well? Do you do the two finger or the three finger pours? Me, don't ask. Outside shower as well. Plus, if you needed it for the kitchen cleanup, there's your connection to your LP to get this going. Uh, you also have the quick connect if you want to do your grill as well. Do you want to bring your own grill? There you go. Love the outside kitchen and how compact that is. Got my little plastic clips to make sure everything stays where it should be. Boom. Extra large grab handle, doubles as a door guard as well. If you want to set up the outside entertainment, you, you wonder why I've been carrying this around? This is why. If you only have an TV and you want to move that around, but see, so I don't want to buy three or four TVs. I just want to take one with me. These are interchangeable. Mounts slide up and down. Just another convenience factor that makes Forest River a good choice to check out. Backlit LED speakers for the external. 
Got my power and my cable connections there from our outside TV. Got the nitro field tires with the pressure monitors too on those 15 inch aluminum rims. The extra wide berth here in the suspension on those Dexter Easy Lube axles. That just means that when you're going down the road, that's gonna help with that rocking and swaying. You know, it's not gonna be as, as bad going up and down. Black tank flush, access point for the bathroom right here. And because Forest River is so great with the pets, they even have built-in leash latches on the front and the rear because they know sometimes the campground might not be as secure as it should be. You want to make sure they don't run off or get injured. Bike rack mounted on the back right above the 4x4 sewer hose storage and spare tire with cover. Backup camera prepped as well. And you see those arch ceilings with the three-inch rubber nozzles on both sides. That's going to make sure that the rain, the snow, the elements doesn't stay on top of the camper or you or the slides that's going to fall off make sure nobody gets soaking wet. Right above my terminations, we got some more storage. This is actually under the bunks on the uh, off camp side. Now, if you wanted to, you could take those screws out and make this accessible storage if you wanted to. But there it is there, outside shower with hot and cold. My terminations, both the gray and the black there. 30 amp plug right here. And my water connections, Fresh City, plus a little LED light for some additional uh, security. Got my slide. This is that slide that had the U-shaped dinette and the leather jackknife sofa. My cable connection is over here on the outside. Got that there. Boop. Bada bing, bada boom. So when you need to set up at the campsite, my low point drains under there. You probably can't see it because I had that big wide I-beam construction. I mean, their construction, man, is just so good at Forest River. Not just the 12 inch on center studs, but everything, the way they do the seamless frame. I mean, it's, it's a really good solid built camper that if you've been looking for something that's good for you, the family, the friends, just take a look at it. But the most important thing that you want to check out when looking at any camper is going to be the info panel. Now this one, 31 feet, seven inches long, Dryer weight is roughly uh, a little more than 6,100 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,725 pounds. But that's where you talk to your specialists at Camping World and at Gander, and you say, what does that mean? Um, here's what my truck can tow. Here's what my vehicle can tow. Uh, is this right for me? Let them guide you through that process because there's a lot of variance there, and you need to know what's the difference, what are you going to put in it, where are you going to take it? because power, insulation, I mean, all of that stuff comes into play based on where you're going to take your camper. So talk with your specialists through that and let them guide you through the process because they're so good at it. They've been doing it for years and they wanna make sure that when you go out and enjoy your RV, that that's exactly what you do, you enjoy it. But if you're a family, you're looking for something that can sleep seven or more, you like those double over double bunks, I gotta tell you, man, the all new 2021 Forest River Graywell 26 DBH is an absolute option to check out. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like, what you not like, because I love hearing from you and we love getting your comments. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I get a chance to hear from you soon, but until then, please come check out a camper because they are fun. I'll see you soon.